Katie, what do you got? How was practice today? It was good. It was good. Good practice. Guys are fired up. Excited for tomorrow night. Um, worked on a lot of our execution about, you know, against how they're going to guard us. We think they're going to guard us. Went over a lot of our, uh, their plays and how we want to guard them. Got some shots up. It was uh, really good energy today. Did you get a sense of a, going into a series of a team that's ready for what you see as being the key battleground? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we all understand who we're about to play and the, the problems that that team presents across the board. Um, and that's why we try to really be, you know, the, the first day, which is yesterday, when we talk about the Phoenix Suns Red Group, before we get into personnel and game plan and coverages, we talk about what are the themes to this series? Like what, offensively and defensively, these are the three things that are going to really carry through the whole. And if we take care of these, we're going to give ourselves a chance. If we struggle in these areas, we're going to make it really hard on ourselves to beat a really good team. So I think our players really locked into that yesterday and today. And tomorrow morning, we'll have one more chance to kind of use that time to prep them for tomorrow night at 6.30. But I think our guys, we've we got, we got a lot of guys that have you know, a significant amount of playoff games under their belt. And uh, second round Western Conference playoffs, guys are locked in. Michael, how, how, how valuable is it when, we know Nikola doesn't care about his stats, but the rest of the team has seemed to follow suit. Uh, after game five, Michael only had eight points, and he said, I don't care what my numbers were. I, I'm indifferent to that. I just want to win. When that is a pervasive attitude, how, how valuable is that? And I'm sure you've been in situations where, every, where certain guys are maybe trying to get theirs. Well, I mean, to win a championship, you know, and to give yourself a real chance to win a championship, um, that's why selfless is on that wall over there and it's a big part of the culture that I've tried to create since day one. Get over yourself. It's not about anybody, the individual. It's about the collective. And all the teams that win championships, everybody sacrifices. We all sacrifice for each other. And no one can do it alone. You, know, you have to trust and rely upon those around you. Um, and I, I think it's really... Great that we have a two-time MVP that embodies that at such a high level, which makes it a lot easier for everybody else to kind of fall in line. Um, we know that it could be Nicola one night, it could be Jamal one night, it could be Michael one night, Aaron, KCP, whoever, but end of the day, for us to win a series and a championship, we need all 17 guys in that locker room to bring the best version of themselves every day. And uh, I've seen countless and countless examples, not just this year, but throughout my eight year tenure. We've heard the word sacrifice before, we've heard the word selfless before. What does that look like in this series for you? And, and what, where can you expect that to happen starting game one? Just get over yourself. I mean, like it's, you know I mean, like so, losing team, losing players are worried about TNT, time and touches. No, it's, it's not about that. It's about are we doing everything we need to do as a team to beat a quality opponent. So when you talk about how do you embody sacrifice and selflessness, it's the details, doing the little things. If a play is not for me, I'm still running my route to make sure I'm helping my teammate out. Uh, defensively, if a guy gets beat, I'm there to help my teammate and not leave him on an island. And uh, there's so many ways that is embodied on the court. And, uh, and I think obviously, you know, for us, We've done a really good job of that. I know guys talk about it, but uh, our players understand what's at stake. And for us to beat a quality team, it can't be just one player. It's got to be the strength of five at a time on that floor. And uh, you know, looking forward to that starting tomorrow. Coach Nicola has regularly expressed his respect for DeAndre. Ayton. Just what kind of challenges does he present defensively for that matchup? I mean, a big, strong, physical player. Um, you know, I know in the uh, the three games, I think DeAndre played three games this year, maybe Nicola only two. Um, I feel really confident. I think Nicola's only grown since the last time we played Phoenix in the playoffs. Um, so I don't care who guards Nicole Jokic. I have full confidence that he's able to go out there and play at a high level and a very efficient level. But I think Nicola respects DeAndre, uh, his physicality and his skill level. And uh, he understands that it's gonna be a challenge in terms of playing against DeAndre, not just Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Chris Paul. You know, he kind of goes uh, under the radar, but we fully respect what uh, DeAndre Ayton brings. You mentioned the last time you guys played in the playoffs. Is there any sort of revenge you know, aspect from you guys at all, or stopping about that too much? No, I mean, it's, you know, two years ago. It seems like a lifetime ago. 
Uh, we have so many new players on our team that weren't here for that series. Um, and we're a different team, uh, uh, aside from the new players, but you know, having Jamal Murray healthy. So there's no, we're not using a, a rattle, you know, rally cry, you know, revenge against the Suns. You know, this is a new year, new series. This is about us trying to do, uh, trying to win a championship. And if we're going to do that, we're going to have to be the hell of a team in the Phoenix Suns. How special is it to have a guy like Christian, who's a young, a young player, who's going to be really excited you know, to look and, and defend about it you know, at, some, at, some, at some point in the series? How special is it for you to have someone like that? Yeah, I mean, CB continues to show that he's made for the moment. He's built for this, not afraid. I thought he had some really good moments and minutes in that first round series against Minnesota. And experience is the best teacher. The more playoff games he has under his belt, the better he's going to be, the more comfortable he's going to be. And uh, we played them twice late, didn't play our main guys at all. And I felt guys like Christian and Peyton, uh, they went out there and did a really good job in terms of guarding a Devin Booker, guarding a Kevin Durant. It was not always perfect, but you know, sometimes as a rookie, it's baptism by fire. you got to go out and guard some of the best players to ever play the game. And uh, sometimes you have success, sometimes you fail, but in that failure, there's plenty to learn and take from. Do you get the sense that maybe Nikola is more refreshed or has more in the tank heading into the you know playoffs and in round two this year than in years past, just with Jamal, with Mike healthy this year, the rest that he's got down the stretch? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I really noticed it or not, but as you say that, Harrison, I think it makes complete sense. Uh, I know in the past he was so reluctant to sit out a game. You know, he took so much pride in playing every night if he could. And uh, I think you respect that, but you also understand the postseason is a war and not having to play through him as much or play him as many minutes, hopefully has allowed him to be in a much better position in terms of having uh, the energy needed um, and just being healthy and fresh for this postseason run. So yeah, I think he's definitely in a good place mentally, physically, and emotionally. Does it matter to you? As am I, by the way, if you care. <laughs> good, 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 good. Sorry, does it, does it matter to you at all if he, if he continues to take threes? It seems like at, at points in the season, he wasn't uh, wasn't necessarily looking for that shot, but in, especially late in the Minnesota series, it seemed to present itself. Does it matter to you one way or another whether he's looking for that shot? I, I, I love when Nikola shoots a three, and uh, I love when he shoots it even when he's missing, because when that shot is going, I, uh, that really makes us hard to guard. I think, I don't know what it is right now after the last day or so, but uh, after that Minnesota series, I think we were ranked third in playoff offensive efficiency, fifth in defensive efficiency, and um, if Nicola is scoring at all three levels, in the post, in the paint, at the foul line, and from the three, then uh, you know we, we become really hard to guard. Um, I don't think it's something where he is just relying on that and settling for that, but. The way teams play him and the bigs are so down the floor at times, you know, it's, that's a way for us to generate more threes. We shot it really well this year from three. We did not get as many attempts up as we need to. So Nikola shooting the three, I think, is a wonderful thing. In, in what ways do you think you can use your depth to the advantage in this matchup? Well, just look at the minutes played. I mean, like Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, I think, are maybe one and two or top three in terms of minutes played per game right now. Chris Paul, I think, is 10th. Um, they have not played their bench much at all in the first round. Every round is different. We could see McCameron play, uh, Cameron Payne rather, did not play the first four, played barely in game five because he played this series. Landry Shamit, Damian Lee, Terrence Ross hasn't played for them. But I think for us, you know, we have an eight-man rotation. We know we can go to a nine or 10-man rotation depending upon the personality of each game. Um, I think Jamal Murray leads us in minutes, and maybe he's 19th or 20th in minutes per game right now in the playoffs. So I think that's going to help us down the stretch and constantly throwing new bodies, fresh bodies, young bodies at a team that's playing heavy minutes at the moment. Sweet. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I think we made it a question today for you. I know. I appreciate that.